Hello, Aternum, and welcome to KOTT News, Aternum's number one source for news. And this is the War Report. No change in the dynamic of Aternum last night, as you might expect after an evening of peace. The weather got pushed back a night, so the afternoon will reset to sunshine and lollipops, as it were. But look out after sunset when a 40% chance of corruption invasion forces will rise up across the island. Two more lineup submissions for simulated fantasy combat resolution tonight, brought to you by LARPCO. Remember, if it isn't LARPCO, it's cardboard. Up first, the Covenant forces of Outcasts assault the vault of JDB's kitchen, attempting to steal away the island's financial capital of Windsward. Factional leaders of the island had been preparing for this week's expected launch of seasonal leaderboards, now tonight's matchups feel more like a warm-up scrimmage. JDB's kitchen, off a night's rest, are fully recovered and prepared to defend their two territories tonight. The season may be delayed, but the fight must go on. Meanwhile, the Marauders of Iron Reavers assault the syndicate members of JDB's kitchen for crown and kingdom of the Western Monarch's Bluff. Iron Reavers, making an attempt to expand their empire, march up the bluff and challenge the kitchen staff to a shokugeki. But what will the secret ingredient be? JDB's kitchen staff were looking forward to being underway for season one, but will consider this another warm-up session to prepare for the leaderboards tomorrow. Be sure to tune in for complete coverage and reactions from the citizens tonight at 11. Until then, this has been War Correspondent John Chalant, KOTT News.